sorry I uh, I got cut off on my last video um, I have LS6 valve springs in it um, just so that I can rev it a little higher and for it to handle the boost I have trailblazer fuel injectors in it um, that are 28 pound per hour um, that if anybody does these this trail trailblazer injectors um, you have to set the KPA versus flow rate in HP tuners to I think it's like 26.37 pounds per hour you don't set it at 28 um, because I guess on these motors it doesn't it, it doesn't like the 28 pound per hour um, on this fuel pressure versus the actual flow rate of the injectors you have to set it to the 26.37 um, it's something like that you can find it on um, hptuners.com um, but that's about it uh, if you get if you want to get aftermarket tack in these you have to get um, a tack dryer from MSD it's very easy to wire up um, but besides that um, the bottom end of the motor is factory um, the heads are ported and polished um, has a valve job done um, I've done some tuning on it to handle the boost I've been very successful at it um, it's pretty easy for the most part um, I do want to get it on a dyno sometime to uh, to actually get some numbers um, but here I'll fire it up for you let you uh, actually hear it in action I think it sounds pretty good. Um, I don't have a muffler on it or anything. I just have the turbo up against it, and um, it sounds excellent in my opinion. But that's about it. I'm uh, I'm currently running five pounds of boost. That's it. Um, I I would like to get just 300 wheel horsepower out of it, which is more than doable, um, and then I'll be happy with it. Um, it's it's already considerably faster uh, than it was when it was just um, normally aspirated, um, even with five pounds of boost. So. Um, I don't, uh, I don't ever plan on building the bottom end or anything like that. It's already a very unique car, uh, and I love driving it. Um, if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask, um, and I will point you in the right direction with anything that I can. Thanks a lot.